Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Say goodbye to boring, non-functional living rooms. I'll show you here in this video how to transform your space into a stylish oasis in the perfect style for you with these simple interior design tips. Let's get started. Before I get started, I just want to show you my outfit. If you saw my previous video with the collaboration of Naomi Campbell and Boss, I have on the suit pants and today I just styled them up with an oversized sweater from Dries Van Noten that I tucked into the pants and a pair of my all-time favorite Alexander McQueen satin pumps. Okay, today we are diving into the world of interior design to help you find your perfect living room style. Imagine coming home to a well-designed living room that not only looks amazing, but boosts your mood and productivity. That's the power of a thoughtfully created space. Let's talk about the importance of finding the perfect living room style and how it can truly transform your space. Your living room is, in my opinion, the heart of the home, where you relax, entertain guests, and make memories. So it's essential to create a space that reflects your personality and lifestyle. Remember in my newly posted design tips video, how much I emphasize that your home should reflect you, represent you, and give you a feeling that you belong there. One of the biggest challenges people face when designing their living room is finding the right balance between aesthetics and functionality. It can be daunting to navigate through endless design options and trends to find a style that resonates with you. Don't worry, I got you covered. I'll break down different design styles to help you discover what suits you best and each style's unique elements and features that can inspire your own design journey and share with you mine. As we explore these different styles, remember again, that personal preference plays a significant role in creating a space that feels like home to you. And don't be afraid to mix and match elements from different styles and just use inspiration from elements to craft a unique and harmonious living room design that speaks to you. Many trends are just trendy but personalize an aspect of that trend that you can live with comfortably over a long time. First task at hand is aesthetics. Let's start with color. My best advice, go look in your closet. Which color is dominant? Which colors do you wear the most? In which colors do you feel the most comfortable? Which colors do you comfortably mix together? Start with three. You need to buy yourself an artist color wheel, like this one. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to use this. One of my favorite colors was blue violet. I like blue based violet purple colors. On this color wheel, here around are all the true colors of a color. And then it shows you here if you add white, if you add gray, if you add black. Going into blue violet, you always have a direct arrow to the complementary color, which would have been yellow orange for me. Or I could have gone into a broken complementary color, so I would have used yellow or pure orange. I decided to use a little bit of a triad here, where I went from blue violet to yellow green to red orange. And because I was working with a gray neutral color, I tried to work with the colors that were all on the gray here and here. If I had decided to work on a quad, turning this to the blue violet here, then from the blue violet, I could have worked to a true green, worked to a yellow orange, worked to a red, or I could use it as a quad here, going from blue violet to yellow green, to yellow orange, back over to red violet. But using the color wheel that turns, that's how you can set up with any color. Let's take another color. Say your favorite color is a turquoise, a blue green. Then your complementing color is gonna be red orange. You can use side colors. Again, you see the triad and the quad. 
You can also use complementing colors to each side of the true color you want to work with. Green and blue would then go with the turquoise. After you found your color, you also need to uh, determine how much of that color are you comfortable with using, how much of neutral colors and which neutral colors you're going to use. Neutral colors meaning white, cream, beige, a cool, black, gray. Another thing is finding an object that has the similar colors that speak to you and using that as a reference. I would love to show you this Murano ashtray, I think it is. I've never used it as an ashtray. That, as soon as I saw this at a flea market, I was drawn to it. It had the colors I want. You see that the main glass is a smoky green. It has a beautiful blue, violet colors and an orange. And I don't know if you can really see, but this neutral color here is not white. It's more of a pearl gray. So that helped me decide that pearl gray I put on my walls and on my curtains. I already had the green for the sofa. Use a little orange and accents of artwork and maybe a vase or two on my coffee table. And then the accents of the violet. And I also then had a balancing black sofa. The next point of aesthetics is now style. Notice your feelings when you look through an interior design magazine. Walk into a hotel lobby or room. Walk into the home of a friend or family member. What gives you a comfortable feeling or connection? That is your style. Let me go through some examples here for you. If this living room appeals to you, then you have maybe a more traditional or contemporary style. Also here. Here is a very traditional style living room. Also here. Here's more modern. Also, this is an example of a modern living room. Also here, a very modern layout. This appeals to you, or even this, or this, but maybe you lean more to Bohemian. This leans a little bit more in the Wabi Sabi Asian influence style. If you like this, this leans a little bit more to Grand Millennial. Here, if you find this nice and cozy, then you like a rustic style. This picture, this one, and this one illustrate a little bit more industrial style. And if you like this, then you're in my style where it is glamorous. But don't forget, styles can be mixed. This one is an example of modern glamorous. Here is a little bit bohemian with modern industrial with the leather sofa and the chrome and glass table. Here is industrial mixed with grand millennial. And then you have to decide, are you a minimalist? Are maximalists. A lot of people confuse that and think those are two styles. No, they're sub styles of a style that you like. Most people connect minimalism with such a style. But look at this. This is modern glam, still minimalist, loving this Vladimir Kagan sofa. And even here is also minimalist in a modern glamour style. But here is clearly a mid century modern maximalist style. Here, maximalist with the contemporary style. I could go now through all the different styles and all the different versions of mixing styles, but then we would have a video that would last three years. Once you start honing on your style, there's so many other videos here on YouTube that you can um, watch to, the breakdown of all the elements to achieve that style. But personally, I recommend finding a good book that is specialized on that style and they break it down chapter to chapter, the elements that you need and gives you a lot more visual examples and inspiration. Okay, note to self. I have a couple books that have been my interior design Bibles that I've always leaned on for inspiration. Maybe I should do a video on the best books for interior design. I will do that. And also don't forget, many styles change with trends, so make sure you implement trends in small amounts. Right now, scallops are very popular, but that doesn't mean you have to throw out your sofa and get a scallop sofa like this one. Implement it first with maybe scallop lampshades, a scallop pillow, work it in slowly to you find the amount that you're comfortable with. And if your taste change within a year or two, it's something easily to get rid of. 
Okay, now to functionality. Your space needs to fit to your lifestyle and needs. Quick personal story. I had these 1930s chairs in my living room, which I paid a nickel and dime for on eBay, but spent a little investment to refurbishing them. Color-wise, style-wise, they fit perfectly in my living room, and I did not see them as precious. They were there to use and sit on. But if I had a dollar, for every time a guest asked me if they were allowed to sit on them, I would have had my wish villa in Italy by now. I replaced them with more cozy, inviting seating and had them shortly in my dressing room before moving them to my bedroom as a cute coffee sitting area for me and my husband. But we have also found ourselves also not feeling comfortable to sit on them there. So they've also been replaced and removed. Point is, your furniture must be functional. Do you entertain a lot? Then you need that every piece of seating furniture in your space is inviting to sit on. What is your focal point in your living room? I don't have a TV, so I can maximize my space with this box layout, allowing for ultimate entertaining. Sofa across sofa and then other seating across seating. My dining room and my living room is open space to each other. My dining room sits 10, so that means my living room right next to it needs to also be able to sit 10 people for entertaining, either when we're having a cocktail or a glass of champagne before we have dinner or having that after dinner cocktail after we eat. I have the same amount of people at my dining room. I need to have the same amount of people in my living room, okay? But if you have a TV or a fireplace or both, Okay, something I don't understand. How can you ruin a beautiful fireplace by placing the TV on top of it? Okay, I digress. No judgment, no judgment. Then a layout like this is maybe best for you, or maybe this, or even this. And if you really have space, then create two separate social gathering areas. For example, this layout, or maybe this one. Okay, in summary, finding your perfect living room style is all about creating a space that reflects who you are and how you live. But using my tips here, you will have a very good start. Whether you're drawn to a sleek modern aesthetic or cozy traditional vibes, the key is to infuse your personality into every corner of your living room. But don't stress yourself out to accomplish this immediately. A well-decorated and curated space takes time. Before I wrap this up, I want to encourage you to share your own living room style tips in the comments down below. I love hearing from you and exchanging design ideas. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more design tips from interior to fashion. Thanks for watching and as always, yours truly, Art Making. Ciao! Last sip of wine. Okay. Come on, girl. Do it good. Oh, I forgot my, I need my other phone. I need my other phone.